In this video, we'll cover how to write irresistible meta descriptions, telling your readers what to expect from your post, improve your click-through rate, and boost your SEO. A meta description is a snippet that describes the content of your page. It's a meta tag in HTML, and it appears on search engine result pages under your meta title and URL. Here's what a meta description looks like in Google. And if you open the page source on your browser, you can see the HTML part of the description. Meta descriptions explain what the page contains, so when a user enters a search query on the search engine, they can read the description to understand what's inside the link. When it comes to meta description length, you should try to keep them within the limits of 155 to 160 characters. If you're using WordPress, then the all-in-one SEO plugin can help you out. You can type your meta description manually or use the tags with different variables with all-in-one SEO. As you enter your description, keep an eye on the character count at the bottom. If it turns red, then you've gone over the maximum recommended character limit. You can also see a preview of how it will look in search engine results. Meta descriptions play an indirect but very essential part in boosting your site's SEO because Google considers click-through rate, or CTR, as a factor in ranking your content. All right, now let's look at some of the best practices to help you create descriptions that can capture users' attention. Number one, keep your descriptions simple and conversational. Keep in mind that you're writing meta descriptions for people and not for search engines, so keep them conversational and use natural language so anyone can easily understand and click on your link. Consider this meta description example by Optin Monster. You can ask a question at the start to keep it conversational and provides a simple explanation of what you can expect if you click on the link. Number two, Include your keywords in meta descriptions. Be sure to add your focus keyword in the meta description because search engines like Google will bold the search term in the meta description tag. So, for instance, if you search for SEO on Google, you'll notice that the search term is in bold in the description. However, don't stuff keywords in your descriptions or it'll lead to a penalty. Not to mention it creates a bad user experience since you'll confuse people about your web page's content. Number three, add power words to capture emotions. Power words or phrases are words that add emotion to your content, so you can use words like limited time or sale in soon to create urgency, or you can spark curiosity with phrases like thought-provoking and invitation only. Be sure to check out our list of over 700 power words that you can use to make your meta descriptions irresistible. Number four, make sure you provide a call to action. If you want people to click on your link or perform some type of action, then it's important to include a CTA or call to action in your meta descriptions. You can add your CTAs like click here to get people to visit your site. And if you want to get users to complete a goal, then CTAs like create an account, sign up, or buy now work really well. Number five, stay within your character counts. As we mentioned earlier, the meta description length is around 155 to 160 characters, so you should try to keep within these limits when drafting your description. However, there's no right length or fixed limit. But as a good practice, try to keep your essential information within the first 150 characters. Number six, create unique meta descriptions for each of your pages. It's a good idea to write different and unique meta descriptions for each page or you'll risk duplication. Having the same descriptions for multiple pages will confuse and frustrate your users and it will send bad signals to search engines. Number seven, your meta description should match your content. Suppose you create a misleading meta description or you try to bait users into clicking on your links. Well, in that case, you're risking a penalty from Google. Plus, you'll also get a high bounce rate since users won't find what they're looking for on your page. So always match your descriptions with your content because they provide a short summary to the visitor. And that's it for this video. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price. So be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click one of the videos on your screen now.